Welcome back to Pepperdine Pipeline. Now, Danny, did you happen to see the first men's basketball game this year? I saw a little bit of it, and I had a match the next day, so I had to be in bed, you know, like 8 o'clock, get, get my nice, like, 12 hours of sleep. Okay. Yeah, so. All right, well, while Danny was home having his 12 hours of sleep, the men's basketball team had a pretty exceptional performance, and uh, Michael Thompson was on fire as per usual in that game. We recently got a chance to spend some time with him. Check it out. For Pepperdine's Michael Thompson, athletic success is a family affair. I got two younger brothers, Clay and Trace. Clay is 19, he plays basketball at Washington State. Um, Trace is 18, he plays baseball in the White Sox minor league baseball system. My parents, they, both, they also both played sports in college and professionally. Even my mom, she played volleyball in college. She played at San Francisco and University of Portland. My dad met her when she was playing at University of Portland. He was on the Portland Trail Blazers. I thought I'd end up being taller because my dad's Dad and mom are both really tall, but uh, I mean, I'm, I'm happy with my height. Perhaps it's the foundation and strength of family that gives Michael that calm, yet confident demeanor on the court. Perhaps it comes from within. You forget about everything, just focus on the court, so it's, I guess, yeah, I am kind of calm because I don't really worry about anything when I'm on the court. Mike is a really determined, serious guy on the court, but off the court he's a jokester, he's really funny, he's really generous, he's really nice, he, he's really he's a storyteller, he tells a lot of jokes and funny stories and stuff like that, but once you get on the court, he just gets down to business and he's really serious. When I think of Mike, I think of leader, because he just motivates all of us to be better, and we see his work ethic on the floor, and it motivates us to do what he's doing. Michael is not without role models. His father, who played in the NBA for 12 years, was the perfect example that success comes when personal goals are only one element of the whole. I would say just want to succeed because uh, I mean, I've seen my dad and everything he's accomplished and it's, it's really made me want to get to where he's at or even higher. Just be, to get to his level would be unbelievable. I just, I just really want to win because I haven't had a winning season here yet and I just think if we had a winning season that could turn the school, like we, we have a lot more fans, everything would go a lot better and uh, I mean overall just succeeding, winning, winning is just all my ultimate goal. I'm the only person that's left. Like when I was a freshman, there was like what, I think seven other freshmen. I'm the only one that's left. I stayed even when it was hard because I wanted to win and turn this program around. Mike is uh, very quiet what he does, but he's very focused at the same time. So it's good to take after someone that's very focused and concentrated in what they do. I just I take the leadership role very seriously. And, I'm not the most vocal person overall, just be, I just want to be a great leader for them. Michael Thompson exemplifies the idea that actions speak louder than words. I don't really necessarily get on them, but I'll just more, more just encourage them and say I'm, uh, I'm definitely yeah, a guy that would lead by example. Individual stats, I can really care less about that because I mean, if you worry too much about that, then you're not going to succeed. And, with winning, those, those things will come, so, I mean, there's no reason that I want to or need to worry about those type of things. Throw uh, all the awards, all that stuff out the window. I mean, just, if you win, all those things will come. Well, thanks for joining us, everybody. That's it for our show. But remember, anytime you want to catch a wave, come out to Malibu with us for Pepperdine Pipeline.